Hello and welcome to another video, personal finance video, where we're going to talk about, what are we talking about today? Top five rich people habits that make you successful. Okay. So basically we think that there are some habits that you need to learn and when you implement them, you'll automatically most likely be successful at whatever it is that you want to do. And I'd say that most people that are rich automatically do these things. And it's not like optional, like you can just not do these things and things are going to happen. So let's get right into them. What's number one? Have a daily routine, including getting up early. Did we get up early today, Mike? I did. I've been up <laughs> since like, I don't even know, 3.30 or something like that this morning, I think, right? It was five something. Was it? Yeah. Well, I think I first got up at like three or four. I started waking. I started the waking up process. Um, that's more like your intermission. But anyway. But my routine, I have a, I definitely have a routine. I'd say I have, because I have all these audiences on social media. So I'm always having to gather, approve new members, get people, approve people who want to post in the groups. And also uh, add to the email address list of people that are signing up there's always i can I can never keep up with that but i've always have a whole daily routine and i've been self-employed i've always been self-employed pretty much and you have to be disciplined like that so you absolutely have to have a routine do you have a routine because you're not you're not really self-employed so much no i have but, a job but I, I do have a routine when i i do get up early before i need to start work and start my email and make sure I taken care of anything that I didn't have time to do the day before. But yeah, it's all built into my routine. But you don't tend to like to get up early. I've noticed that. I think over the time that I've known you, like five plus years, five and a half years, you've had to learn that, I think. Have you? Well, or I've or early my... my whole life. I've had a job or two or three since I was 16. So okay. I've never been able to like sleep all day. <laughs> but, uh... Uh-oh. Rain. Uh, okay. Do I like it? Not really, but I I do it. Yeah. Okay. So you don't you don't like getting up early, but you get no. well. The requirement is not that you like it, just that you do it. Right. right? Well, <laughs> women need more sleep than men. So when you wake up, you wake me up, and I don't get enough sleep. Uh oh. So I like. To well, get some nights I sleep. Hours. Like the other day, I slept for ten hours. I think I, I woke up, you were already working when I woke up. I'm yeah. like, what? <laughs> that that was not part of a routine. That's because I, I had a really tough day the day before. Didn't get a lot of sleep. Uh, yeah. I, I tend to do that. I'll, um, my routine kind of is like if I don't get enough sleep one night, the next night I'm going to get a ton of sleep. Yeah. And then actually I don't need much sleep the night after that either. So it, I try to try to even it out. You were recovering from a stressful day. And yeah. Some equipment broke down. Uh, okay, so what's... Equipment, not personal equipment <laughs> so what's number two written and revised goals <laughs> all right well, i can't even find my goals right now <laughs> that's not good you I mean, didn't you didn't save them on a note on your phone like I okay did, okay i would say mine mixed up with yours <laughs> okay i would say never write when i say written don't write that something on a piece of paper this is 2022 save it in some notes that are actually backed up so that like denise is saying she can't find it now I don't know what's going on with that. Denise and I will talk about it later, but my notes are always backed up and I can copy them into an email. I can send it to email myself. You'll never lose them, especially your goals. So it's so important. You have to actually have goals because you're probably not going to ever reach the thing unless you don't have them. You have to write them down. I've, I should do a video just on goals and I will because you really need to have one year, five year, 10 year and lifetime goals. You need to memorize them, know what they are, and you need to constantly revise them. That's the thing about it. I think it. That you should print them and put them on the wall in front of your desk so when you're sitting there not knowing what to do, you can review your goals and start on that. If you yeah, to I, do. ideally you should frame them at your desk and at your bedside, put them on the wall just like you would some kind of picture that you admire, because hopefully you admire your goals, otherwise you're not gonna get them, and even sign them too when you put them in the frame. That's what I, I tend to uh, let people know, that's what I think people should do yeah. so but so that's number two so the first one is the routine second one is the goals number three is focus on producing rather than consuming <laughs> yeah okay it's, i think it's really easy especially with younger people today with all the content that's out there 
that people just consume content, consume, consume, consume. They're constantly consuming. And it's weird to me because like I'm on this phone, this is my phone. I have the ability to produce content right here and everyone does. So like the people, if you're, if you're consuming content, you probably, you almost certainly have a device where you can produce content mm -hmm. and not just content, but something else, a product or a service. You need to focus on producing something, always producing something you can consume, but you should way out produce what you're consuming. If not, you're never going to be rich. You're never going to be successful. That's why people get wealthy is because they provide value for people by producing something, right? Yes. Number four is always learning and love learning. I'd like to be listening to a podcast right now so you I would? can get my AWS certification. What about, but you've got me making videos for you. What about a podcast <laughs> on the five, top five methods to, uh, of habits that rich people have to, uh, to be successful? Well, when I'm done with that, maybe I can go back to learning. <laughs> okay, well, so yeah, you have to have a love of learning. And a lot of people think that school's a drag or whatever, and then the whole school, meaning the whole idea of learning, is not something you want to do. You want to get away so that you don't have to learn anything. You can just waste your time goofing off, mm -hmm. consuming content, okay? That is not the attitude you want to have if you want to be rich or uh, if you want to just be successful at anything. You have to have this attitude of learning because if you're not learning, then you're not going to know what's next. You're not going to know what's new. And that's what you should be getting into, what's next or what's new, I, I would think. That's what all the wealthy yes. people do anyway. They read an average of a, a book a week. I, I listen to audio books in my car. <laughs> I don't like reading. <laughs> well, you can do that. <laughs> so the last item is being open-minded. Okay, that is the big one too. If you're closed-minded, basically you think you know it all, that's mm -hmm. wrong and you'll soon find out mm -hmm. uh, by the way that your finances go or whatever your goals are never get achieved yeah. so you have to be open-minded to all kinds of new things and maybe you know in 10 years this video will be completely outdated i'll have to be open-minded to switching up all five of these items to something completely different right yeah. so um you that you just have to be open-minded in ways that you just can't even fathom right now i'd say you can't that's that's the kind of open radical open-mindedness, I suppose. Uh, and is there anything else you want to add to that? To those top five? Uh, Other than we got to find your goals and get through, go start reviewing them right now. <laughs> and we need to make a video on goals too. Th those are five good ones. I think attitude has a lot to do with it too. Being a positive person, you'll attract other positive people. <laughs> okay. Well, also, I have a book called Live to 150. Go to live to l i v e t o one five zero dot o r g, and I should have a chapter on there about goal setting because that's really more important for that book. So I, don't, I may not make a special goal video because I've already got one in that book. Mm -hmm. And that's it. We're gonna go run, right? Yep. Have a great day. Bye.